In today's video, we're going to be continuing in the far tight slot mini scheme out of the West Coast Offensive Playbook. We're going to be talking about why I think X-Spot is one of the most versatile passing concepts in Madden every single year. Now, again, this out of the West Coast Playbook. We're going to go ahead and get on the field, far tight slot, X-Spot. I'm going to show you our first setup from yet the other day, and then we're going to talk about what we can do with it now. So uh, what we talked about yesterday was a standard shallow cross or slant post style setup where we're going to slant our slot receiver. We're going to streak our uh, outside flaker receiver and then we're going to snap the ball and this literally is one of the best plays in the game and it's largely because of the fact that we have this really really powerful route to the tight end so what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of build off of this powerful route to the tight end so the way we're going to do that in this formation is we're going to do what i call a cross passing concept and so the way that this is going to work is it's going to be really good against man it's going to be really good against zone and it will be really good against match coverage and again, you're not going to need any uh, route uh, route chemistries or any of that stuff. You don't need Howard Master for this. You don't need anything for this, okay? All we're going to do is we're going to streak the uh, left side receiver here, which is Randy Moss. We're going to slant uh, uh, Smith, our backside receiver. And then you can leave the running back on this little out route or this little flat route right here. Or you could put him on an option route or you could put him on an out route, and that is up to you, however you wanna to try to attack the defense. Then we're just gonna motion this slant across, and we're gonna snap it when he's all the way outside. That is really, really important for the spacing aspect of this passing concept. Now, the reason that I like the option route generally over the top um, of the slant is because of where we're gonna snap the ball. So if you watch, I'm gonna wait until he's all the way across the field to snap this ball, and so the option route's gonna have plenty of time to be able to get open. And I actually have inside shade on running a lot and no short and lead on my running back. And you see that I'm still able to throw that option route against man-to-man -man coverage. So what that does is it really gives us a backside check down over there on that sideline. The other route that I have against man coverage is my tight end post. And again, I've got an inside shade, deep route KO, the whole deal on these safeties and corners. And what you're gonna notice is this tight end post, um, you can still throw it even if it looks kind of covered. All you're going to do is ag catch it over the middle. So you'll see right here, once he gets that inside leverage, throw inside and you're going to ag catch it. He might drop it, but it's rare that he does. If you ag catch it, again, the other thing that I want to say is if you think that they are running more man coverage and you're struggling to beat more man coverage, then what I would recommend that you do is go to this play flats because it gives you this post route to the left side. And then now you're going to still use that slant. You're still going to use the option route. You might block the running back, but we're going to use a tight end apprentice post or a tight end apprentice crosser just because those two routes are a little bit more. Um, they just get a little bit better separation against against man to man. OK, so that's what I would do if I'm playing someone and they're running. They're like clearly running a lot of man coverage. That's a great way to kind of counter that because the tight end apprentice post is truly probably the better route for beating man specifically, but it's not the better route for beating zone. And that's uh, what gives us a lot of unique, you see, even if he's close, if I add catch and do that little swerve, he's not gonna, he's not gonna tackle me, okay? So that is, that's how we're gonna beat man. And, and the slant also, real quick on the slant route, um, so if you think through like a coverage that they're gonna they're gonna run, you're gonna probably get a hard flat to the left. You might get a vertical hook to the right. I'd be you know maybe uh, and really typically this guy's gonna be kind of taking the tight end. So another thing that you are gonna see though is you might even see something like this where they have this zone here and then as you can see because they've got to have protection in the middle of the field. If they don't have protection in the middle of the field, then you can hit them with post routes all day long. But the point is, if you watch this slant, and this is why we want to let it get all the way outside here, he's going to kind of get a light-up animation. You can throw it right in that little pocket, and you can throw it before he gets to the yellow zone on, on the defense. So that's a great little piece of, uh, of, of advice on this play. Okay, so now let's get back into kind of a standard zone in terms of what they're going to do defensively and talk a little bit about zone coverage. So I love this play against zone coverage, and I think it's really good against zone. And the reason is because you really space the field well, 
and this tight end route is unguardable in zone coverage. You can't guard it with a 30-yard cloud. You can't guard it with cover four drop. So, like, if I go cover four drop because of the the way the play works, and this is why we want to always have um, a six-man protection when we run this because the, the route does take a little bit to get open. But what you'll see here is this tight end route, even again at cover four, I get like perfect spacing over the middle of the field because the tight end route runs deep enough and it creates kind of a, a cross concept or a levels concept, it's just a high low in the middle of the field. And it's able to really do a lot of damage to the way that most people want to play defense because most people want to just sit in a double Mabel coverage. And you can't do that with this post route because this post route is going to run himself wide open and you can always throw it as long as you add catch it properly, just like that right there. Okay. So, and then, and then uh, the, with the cloud flat, we showed you that as well. So they have to go with this route. They have to go with this route over the middle of the field. There's really no question about it. They, they literally just have to go, um, over the middle of the field with that tight end route. And then what that does is it's going to leave this backside route to Jimmy Smith, or in the case of the option route, the beauty of that option route is it's going to sit in that left side little pocket over there. And then you have that, that slant coming over the middle. So let's say for example that, and this is a little bit of an adjustment uh, from a setup perspective, but let's say they do like this little bluff blitz adjustment to try to get someone to come over and rob the middle of the field. That's where this running back route becomes really valuable because what you're going to see with this option route is the three rec will stay with the running back and then you're able to throw that over the middle of the field. So this play is super well equipped to be able to defeat man match and zone. Um, as far as match goes, typically what's going to happen is this running back will become isolated over there on the left side. And then you'll also have this backside slant. So the option route will kind of be like man coverage. So you just throw that against man. It's really, it's really hard for them to get the right leverage on these option routes to be able to stop them. And then the, uh, the two crossers are going to be really good against match match. For, uh, for the way that we're kind of setting this play up is going to be very similar to man coverage, but probably not as good. Um, and so your tight end, your tight end route is going to be open. Your slant route is going to be open on the backside. Like it's not really that easy to defend this play in match. And the same kind of rule applies if you want to put like if they're running more match coverage, right? And you want to utilize that tight end apprentice post or tight end apprentice crosser. Be my guest to do that if you have Hot Master or tight end apprentice. But this little setup right here, uh, super effective. Super effective against pretty much everything that the defense is going to be able to do. And if they fall asleep at the wheel, sometimes you can even hit that fade over the top. And this is where, again, I come back to say, like, if you'll just utilize this flats play kind of sparingly, but if they're running a lot of match or they're running, like, if you run this and they're running match coverage, typically what will happen is this post will get isolated one-on-one, -on -one, as you see right here and you're able to just burn them over the top. So that's how you kind of utilize that deep post route in combination with a streak to really make this a really good offense. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about uh, these offenses or just getting better at Madden in general, join the Patreon. That's where you'll get full offensive and defensive ebooks, everything you need to become a better Madden player. For just $10, you can sign up, head down to the description, and click the link down below.